Well, hello. I want to welcome you once again to His Word Lives Ministry. My name is David Guthrie, a preacher, and I'd like to share with you some of Scripture out of the book of James in chapter 1, in verses 19 through 27. This is really good Scripture, and it's uh, uh, like all the Word of God. It's really good for us to follow the ways of the Lord and try to do them the best we can. Then we're going to have prayer today, have a number of prayer requests and, and people that we want to pray for today. And God's Word said from the book of James in chapter 1, 19, Wherefore, my beloved brother, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious, and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction, and keep himself unspotted from the world. Praise God for this beautiful scripture and advice. Spiritual life and advice. How to live a life and watching the things that we say and knowing who we are by the way we speak and the words we say and the things that we do. I'd like to go ahead and go on into our prayer time today and I have a number of people I want to pray for today, and you're one of them. Everyone that's tuning in and listening to this video, I'm praying for you. I may not know who all is watching this video, but God does, and I'm lifting them up to Him in prayer today. And I also want to pray for Bill Wilson and Bill Ellis and Beth Davis and Bethany Walls and Beth Mwanga Galee, and Betty Broins, and Betty Vining, and Beverly Lynn Render, and Bill Loveless, and Betty Walmack, Bill Carrier, and Bill Dawson, Betty Stanley, Beth Howard, Betsy Leonard, and Bill Worley. We want to focus in on those people and, and, and ask God to focus in on them and the things that are going on in their lives and their needs and situations that they're in and for God to bless them in their lives. We lift them up in prayer. Now we lift up your prayer requests. Just pray to God. We, we're lifting these up and God knows all about this. Dear Father, we come to you in prayer with thankfulness in our hearts that we can approach the throne room of grace, the throne room of heaven eternal place. God, we come before you and lift up these people and lift up the situations in their hearts of the ones that are viewing and are praying with you today. God, we thank you for your holy scriptures. God, in your advice and your your guidance and how to live a life, a Christian life. We thank you for that, God. And God, we thank you for Jesus. 
God, we thank you that Jesus loved us so much. He died on the cross to make it possible for us to be forgiven for our sins. And God, if there's one that's watching that doesn't know you, we pray, God, that today might be the day that they would humble themselves before you and ask you to forgive them for their sins and save you because they're ready to profess Jesus as the Son of God and believe in Him. All these things we pray to you in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Thank you.